based on his most recent interview. It would appear that the brilliant coach Stephen Francis agrees with us here at Peter Lloyd. I think he just told us in his own way that Kishane Thompson will win the men's 100 meters at the Paris Olympic Games. Now, Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, uh, Kishane Thompson is the fastest man in the world so far for the 2024 season. And he's coached by this man, the genius, Stephen Francis. Now, Why? In the finals of the men's 100 meters, which you probably have seen ad nauseum, Kishane Thompson delivered the fastest time in the world thus far for the 2024 season. When running flat out for the first 60 meters and cruising through the line in the last 40 to 20 meters, in fact, in the 20 meter mark, taking time just to look over at the time, um, he ran an astounding 9.77 seconds. And I've been saying to you for quite some time, Jamaica is going to get one and two. If Oblique Seville is healthy, and I've been told he's healthy, I see no one who's going to beat these two young men. Certainly not no alliance. So unless there's someone there that we don't know of, this is a one-two for Jamaica. Lyles, at his max, has run a new PB of 9.81. We saw Oblique Seville run 9.82 and had enough time to slow down and look back at Noah Lyles. And plus, Oblique Seville in the finals was not well and still ran 9.82. So anyway, let's get into this. Take a look again once more at the race so you can understand what I'm saying. Why I'm very certain, barring any unforeseen situation, that Kishane uh, is going to win. And I also believe that coach Stephen Francis just agreed with me. Watch. This is the 100 meter finals. They've asked about the future of Jamaican sprinting and the men's side. It's ripe and healthy. Four men under 23 years old in this final. Fireworks in the making once again. You can feel the level of anticipation gripping this contest. Men's 100 meter final. Set. 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 Oh. Seville and Thompson got away like rockets. Seville looks imperious. Thompson looks imperious and commanding as well. Kishane Thompson steps to the floor and gets there. 9.73. Oh, goodness gracious me. It's a new stadium record. New world leading. Absolutely stunning. Now to win, Kishane Thompson is going to have to get past these gentlemen. The world champion, Noah Laz, PB, 9.81. Oblique Seville, PB, 9.92. Jamaican, Lesil Tibogo, don't know his PB. Marcel Lamont, last Marcel Jacobs, PB, 9.80. Fred Curley, PB, 9.76. Uh, Akana Simbini, don't know his PB, to be very frank with you. And Omenyala who I believe is PB's 9.78. Now, I want you to listen to this interview that I found uh, that the Jamaica, I think it's the Jamaica Observer that put out this interview. I believe, or is it Flo? Doesn't matter. Listen to the interview in detail. Now, this is the first part of it where he says, I can't, I'm not going to predict. But the truth is, he actually predicts. And I'm going to point out to you why I'm very certain that he's very certain that Kishane, barring unforeseen circumstances, should easily win the men's 100 meters. And yes, I said easily. Listen. Okay. And in speaking, in, a, in speaking about Kishane Thompson, he's competed once since the national championships. And every competition he's had this year, every race he's finished, he's run sub-10. Talk to me about Kishane Thompson's progression this season. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean... <laughs> Everybody knows how he has done his times, um, and I, I can't predict what's going, what he's going to do. Just to say that, you know, he's, I don't think anybody has yet seen him run. I, if that's going to happen in the Olympics, and how fast that will be. Given what you've seen so far, um, 
how confident are you that his first showing will be a memorable one? Because um, Jamaica has not had a global men's 100 meter title in eight, eight years. How good do you think his chances are to, to break that drought? Every race has eight people. And to win, or come second or third or whatever, depends not on you, but on what the other people in the race does. I'm in no position to predict <coughs> what anybody else is going to do. It appears to me that he is at least as good as he was in, in junior tra championships. So we'll see. Coach, mentally, and him, you know, everybody's expecting him to. Is there? Yeah, everybody's right. expecting him to, to win based on his performance. 977 at the national trials looking back. But why, would, why is that with mental pressure? You know what I mean? I don't see the pressure because at the end of the day, uh, everybody is talking about experience and mental. It's all about speed. Right? When the gun fire, you run from there down to there, so whoever gets there first wins. I'm quite So it has nothing to do with experience or mental pressure or whatever. He just has to be able to execute as well as he can. You don't know how to slow down. Um, the first time you tried to slow down at the child, you almost fell. You slow down every day in practice? You almost, you almost fell, that's what he said. Yes, Do you have concerns? No, I don't. I have no concerns. Doing the rounds? No. I don't understand. I mean, he ran 982, 984, and 977. Not even Usain Bolt has ever had that kind of series in a championship. I don't see what anybody's worrying about. He has done, he averaged 981 over three rounds. Maybe you're saying did the same thing in 2009 when you were in 958. But I don't think anybody else has, has done that. I mean, and I'm, I haven't checked everybody, but I have checked a lot. So I don't see what anybody is worried about. He, I don't think based on his June shape, he has much to worry about the rounds. <coughs> so you think he's... Or to Eugene. I mean, otherwise, you just run. Of course, tell me, speak. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. I'm really, really happy that uh, Stephen Francis did this interview because I brought up several of these points. One, like myself, he has stated point blank that he sees no reason why we would believe that Kishane Thompson will be in any kind of pressure, which is I have constantly said is preposterous. We have seen no indication that this young man lacks confidence. In fact, he said it. I don't lack confidence. He himself, Kishina, said this. We've seen him run against Simbini last year when he ran his then PB of 9.85. We saw him run against Christian Coleman and he was not even slightly flabbergasted. He doesn't have an issue with that. His concerns was just one thing. Injury. How am I going to improve and, and stop being injured? That's it. So basically, um, go back and listen again. Stephen Francis, Coach Stephen Francis, shuts that nonsense down about stress and I, I, I don't know. I don't know why we're... That's just a, to me, it's a nonsensical argument. The, secondly, he says, he, he elaborates. I never made this point, but he elaborates. He says it's not about stress. Why would there be stress? It's a 10-second race, basically. Okay. Um, then he raises a point that I have never raised. And the truth is, I'd never even looked into. But I went and I checked. And he's right. At the Jamaican National Trials, or Championships 2024, Kishane Thompson put together one of the greatest series ever ran in track and field 100 meter history. 9.82 opening round, semis 9.84 and 9.77. That really has never been done. I think he's right. I think only Usain Bolt has come close. In other words, the times he has ran, which averages about 9.80 to 9.81, over three races in one series has never been done by anyone no allies has never come even close not even slightly close as you ever come um so really the only person i know of who has come closer or probably have done this is usain bolt and usain bolt is the greatest male sprinter all time i have predicted and i really believe this and this is not emotion it's just the numbers and the additional information that jamaica can walk away with one two aquinella one two we should technically be able to do that. I don't really see anyone breaking that. No Elias. And I don't think No Elias can put together a series like that in three races. I just don't think he's capable of doing it. And, I, and don't get me wrong because my criticizing, my saying this doesn't mean I have a problem with No Elias. I really don't. 
But if an athlete puts together 9.82, 9.84, 9.77 in one series, that's insane. I had not thought about it. Well, I guess that's why he's Stephen Francis and I'm just a fanatical fan of track and field. So, basically, if you listen carefully to it, he, did, he rejected every argument that um, the journalist gave him. He basically said there will be no stress factor. He said the series that he has done has never been done before, as far as he's aware, in terms of the 9.82, 9.84, 9.77 in one series. So that also negates him having problems with rounds, which I thought was ridiculous because no Jamaican athlete who has gone through champs should ever have a problem with rounds. It makes no sense to me, but hey. So he, 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 re, he, re, he, re, he rebuffed the rounds issue. He solidified... Uh, the fact that it's really just about running the 10 seconds and Kishin has no issues. He said point blank that Kishin can easily deal with any kind of stress that we're talking about and he doesn't even understand what we're talking about regarding stress. Now, the one thing he does say is that he can't predict what Kishin is going to do. In other words, what, what Stephen Francis just said is that she's, Kishin is supposed to win this. He has the speed, he can handle the rounds, he has no stress issues. And there's pretty much nobody there that can beat him because what he's done in that series at Jamaican National Championships, only Usain Bolt has ever done. So there's nobody else there who should be able to challenge him. However, he's saying, I don't know what Kishane is going to do on the day. So if Kishane has his head right, and he seems to believe he's going to, and everything runs according to plan, or anything, unless there's something unforeseen, basically he just told you that Kishane is going to win. That's pretty much what he just said to you. Go back and listen to the race. He didn't say it. He didn't say Kishin is going to win. But if you listen to the questions asked by all the journalists and listen to his answers. In other words, he rebuffed every single worry that anybody could have. Him can't slow down. That was a really ridiculous question though. I don't understand. How can that person not slow down? I mean, what is he? Peter Gonzalez? A anyway, I shouldn't say that with all due respect to the journalists. Maybe he was asked to say that. I just didn't understand that question. I'm simply saying, I think we can walk away with these two young men, one and two. We can walk away with Aquinella. I genuinely believe it's just based on just the sheer numbers. Just the numbers. And based on the races that I've analyzed. And I think Stephen Francis agrees with me. So in my humble opinion, after watching this interview with Stephen Francis, I believe Stephen Francis is convinced that Kishane Thompson will win the men's 100 meters at the upcoming Paris Olympic Games. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, not the like button. Remember, you are royals, kings and queens. Bless up!